Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and I've had a few questions come in about how to add dots and stars and hearts and things like that to embroidery designs. So, I'm going to start off with the Premiere Plus Ultra software. So, let's begin. I will finish with the MySonet software. In Premiere Plus, all you have to do is go down to the bottom to the tulip in the lower left side and open it up and we're gonna start off with just hit and cancel if you had an embroidery already made that you need to add stars or dots or something to you would go insert embroidery and then open up that in embroidery but to just add or make some dots or stars or hearts or whatever, you would go into Quick Create. And then you would set your pattern fill and your satin line or applique, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to set a pattern fill with a satin line. Um, I'm going to go over here to my fill area and line and see what pattern fill I'm using and to see what my width is. It's a 2.0 width, so that's fine. And depending on the size of my dot or heart or whatever shape I'm going to use, um, I may switch that over to a 1.0 width or I may even say uh, a double stitch or a triple stitch. So anyway, there are all kinds of shapes here that you can use. Um, I often use a um, hexagon to put a design in, and that creates my borders so that I can make a hexagon placemat. But I like to often use this shape to make little candle mats. That's an awesome shape to use. I use hearts all the time. So all you have to do is click on the dot. And then you would click the shape. And I get these mixed up between Premiere Plus and the other software. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. My Sonet. And I'm holding down the uh, control key. And that um, lets it resize proportionately. And that's all you do. And that's your resize. And what I typically do is I'll make a few of those. And I will save each one accordingly. So I will do a file, an export embroidery. And I'll do an OK, and I'll make a bunch of those different dots and different sizes and different fills and whatnot, and keep them in a folder called doodads. And I will use them later for all kinds of applications. Um, stars is another thing I use frequently in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Um, if you make badges, um, this is a great one for badges, and you would use um, this shape. And you probably wouldn't use a pattern fill, but you would use an applique. You would turn pattern fill off. You would keep a satin line on there. And you would probably change that satin line over to uh, maybe a 4.0. And there is your shape. And a right click for properties so I right click twice and then I can actually go into the applique and I can select my fabric and I can pick what color I want and now I can save that as a separate design and now I can place whatever um, embroidery that I want on that design and see what it looks like on the uh, fabric uh, that I'm going to put it on, the color fabric that I'm going to put it on. Okay, so that's what 
how that is done in the Premiere Plus software, and that's the Ultra version. Then in the MySonet uh, Platinum version that has the digitizing, I go into the Create tab, and then over into Digitizing, And I use this all the time. I go into the Quick Create tab. I turn off my Pattern Fill. I'll go grab my shape. If I am doing a freestanding lace that I need a hook for, I will make a satin stitch oval in a shape that I want and I will make it a little thicker. Let's do say a 3.0 and I often will also do a copy and a paste and on top of that little hook I'm making I will do a properties so I'm right clicking over this um, slide and I will change that satin line over to a double stitch and do a double stitch right on top of that little hook and now so there is my little hook that I would place on top of my whoops I would combine those two so I would group them and now they would travel as one so and then I would place that hook um, right on the back underneath my um, freestanding lace embroidery so I can hang it on my Christmas tree so that is one way I would do that and to just make regular shapes we have all kinds of shapes in here it's the same basic shapes that are in the Premiere Plus Ultra version. There's your candle mat. There's all your hearts and these are great for making um, flower petals. Badges. They're all there. Like I say, I quite often use um, these hexagon, pentagons, octagons to make table mats and I just would use say the uh, 200, uh, 260 by 260 hoop and just do the outside frame and leave it as, at, at that and that is actually um, I would change it down into a running stitch or even a double stitch depending on what I need and that is actually just my basic cutting line for um, sizing it and whatnot. I'm gonna hit delete there but like I say I do I keep a folder with dots of all shapes and sizes in that I can use in different projects. I keep parts of different shapes and sizes. Another thing I'm going to say here for you people that do circular um, attachment embroidery, um, especially the really big ones, I like to put in the very center of my circular embroidery because I have had situations where my um, pin has come out of my my uh, fabric so I take and will make a little circle and I am holding the control but uh, the the uh, shift key down and I will make a tiny tiny circle and I will embroider that in the very center of my fabric before I start working with my circular embroidery, especially my 
because I have um, drilled out my table, my so steady table, so that I can go with the really super big mats um, with the circular embroidery. This helps me, um, should my mat slip, it helps me find my center again. So I'll embroider this, uh, this little circle first. Um, and I quite often will start my inner circles as an embroidery design anyway. So I will do this inner circle and then I will do outer circles. Let's see. So I'll do that and then I'll do um, motif circles around that and more motif circles around that until I have a design and then I will put it on the uh, table and do more circular stitching using my so steady table and this little gem right here that I've put in the center lets me find the center of my design anyway so that's how I make my little circles and doodads that I use later um, the star is another great little tool I use it all the time I use this one for candle mats, stretch it right out and, and do two or three with the motif circles and whatnot. Um, I love the shape maker. Okay. So catch you around. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment Hope and catch you later. Bye.